Hey everyone, it's Forrest back with more movie pickups. All right, so uh, today I don't have I don't have too much. Um, so, but uh, we actually today we've got two, uh, two movies and a TV show. Uh, the first one is from my Inside Movies Galore cohort, Brandon Farmer, aka Septim Sin vs. the World. All right, so I'm just gonna press this on. So. Unbox this first. All right, first we've got. Um, well, actually, I wasn't. Even, I didn't even expect to get, to get this and get this, but I got a copy of 1980s Popeye with Robin Williams, Shelley du and Shelley Duvall uh, as Popeye and Olive Oil. Uh, directed by and directed by Robert Altman, so it's a pretty basic. It's a pretty basic Paramount, uh, early, like a pretty ba pretty basic. Um, not much in the way of special features. Uh, we on Inside Movies Galore, we are reviewing the movies or discussing the movie this month. So now, so now, so now I got a copy. I got at least got a copy of that. I've got a copy of that on me for that to uh, watch for the discussion. But yeah, yeah, that was a that was a total yeah that was a total surprise. But uh, to be and but yeah, and also to be honest, I have never actually seen Popeye in its, seen Popeye in its entirety. I've only seen like bits and pieces of it. Uh, and then we've got we've got Twin Peaks, uh, the, all, the all two like, the complete ser the complete series from David Lynch uh, with an all you know all star cast, uh, Kyle MacLachlan. Uh, Peggy Lipton, oh god, uh, Cheryl, oh god, what's her name, Cheryl, uh, her name's kind of escaping me at this, at this point, but yeah, now, but I recently watched the whole series on, I re recently watched the whole series on net, the whole original series on Netflix, and I've been, lately I've been, bit, I've been kind of building up my, I've been building up my collection of, uh, David Lynch productions, so this is a, this is, a, a, like, the pro probably, Apart from maybe Racerhead and Blue Velvet, this is probably the perfect addition to that to this to this growing collection. So thank you so much, Brandon. I really appreciate it. Oh, and also uh, you can check also you can check out a link to his to his chat to his channel below. Uh, the next up one up is from my, is from my writing partner and fellow Troma alum Dusk. Snip this open. Ah, oh, here it is. We're almost here. Boy, you see this tight. You see this tightly. Oh wait, ah, uh, duh. I know what I'm doing is kind of dangerous. I should probably be cutting. I should probably be cutting this open away from me. We've got mutant girl. We've got mutant girl squad, a uh, Jap uh, Japanese actually uh, Japanese Japanese exploitation film in the style of movies like uh, like uh, oh god not power um, like Tokyo Gore Police. Um, I guess Battle Royale would be one other one. And uh, oh god, I'm forget. Oh god, now I'm forgetting it. Uh, power. I think no, not Power Girl. Not Power Girl. Um, I think it's a title. Oh, it's all. Oh God, that name is already excluding me. But uh, 
Yeah, I always love, but yeah, I, those these kinds of movies I always enjoy. I always enjoy uh, checking out. Uh, you know, enjoy these kinds of enjoy these kinds of movies. They're because they're so uh, different than anything you see in them. Or, or also like movies like Ichi the Killer, also Tokyo Gore Police, Ichi the Killer. Um, but uh, Battle Royale, I'd be, yeah, I like I enjoy these kinds. Of, you know, they're just not you know so different from what uh, normally from what I normal from what you normally see in uh, west in Western cinema, especially uh, like and uh, like the way they seamlessly blend, blend genres like you know horror, sci-fi, um, dark com dark comedy. Uh, there's also as far as opening as far as the special features, we've got uh, interviews, making of a spinoff short. Uh, more trailers from the distributor, su uh, the distributor, su uh, sushi, su more sushi trailers. All right, uh, but yeah, but uh, this, but I'm definitely looking for. Also looking forward to watching this. But actually, sushi from Sushi Typhoon. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to watching, uh, to checking checking this out. Also, thank you so much, Dusk. And I'll, and you can also check out du you can also check out du uh, check out Dusk's channel in the link below. And the last one, we have the 2007 stoner comedy Smiley Face, starring Anna Kendrick and... Oh, oh sorry, nope. Don't Anna Ferris and John Krasinski. Uh, all right, so there's not much in the way, not, not much in the way of special features, but uh, this is another movie that is not that is. Uh, you know, it's. I mean, it's on. It's. It's actually. I mean, I had it on Amazon, my Amazon Prime watch list for a while, uh, but then uh, they, re they. But then, but now it's. But now all that's left there is an ad, is an ad free version. Is a is a version with ads. A free version with ads and. Call me a snob, but I cannot, for the life of me, stand watching a movie and then all of a sudden it gets interrupted by a commercial by a commercial for insur for insurance. Uh, so, and on top of that, this DVD is out of print. Uh, this was actually one of those. This was actually one of those movies that it seems like everyone, every everyone I knew in college had it in their either in their dorm room or lying around in their li in their apartment, lying around their dorm room or, the, or their apartment or living room or whatever. Um, and so it's. One of those movies, and it was always one of those. So it was always one of those movies that I meant to get meant to get around to watching, but have never seen. And uh, last week, so and last week, uh, uh, Anna Ferris was on Jeanette McCurdy's podcast, uh, talking about some of her favorite roles, and this came up, which prompted me to seek it out. So uh, another one. So uh, can't wait, can't wait to finally cross that one off my watch list, uh, which has been it says it's been like maybe oh thirteen years, thirteen years now. Anyway, that's all I got. All I got. All I got uh, as far as pickups this week. Uh, hat also, first week of March. Also, also for the first week of March, and I did. For, I haven't kind of haven't paid attention to this, but uh, I have crossed the ten followers. Uh, the the ten subscri subscribers. Uh, mark. So yes, thank you so much. And uh, if you like what you see here, uh, give me hit uh, hit like and subscribe. Also, uh, you can ch check out my link tree below and see all my social media. Uh, uh, and uh, also check, also listen, also listen to me on Inside Movies Galore on, t on Inside Movies Galore on Tuesday nights uh, with all my, with uh, with all my co with all my co with all my co-hosts. And uh, I'll catch and I'll catch you later. Oh yeah, a couple more things I wanted to mention. Uh, the, that, Jap that, uh, that Japanese movie that I was thinking of was called Machine Girl, and Smiley Face I got off of eBay for uh, it cost me forty seven and change. So if you're looking for a copy of it, uh, you expect to pay quite a uh, pay uh, a fairly steep amount. Uh, so those are just some tidbits I need to throw in there. And if you excuse me, I have a quesadilla to go that's cooking on the stove that I need to ch attend to.